So, I am going to give an introduction to the course. The title of the course is Introduction to Soft Computing. So, soft computing nowadays is a vast subject and lot of research have been initiated in last couple of uh, years and it is an emerging topics. However, this is a limited course the 40 hours course we will try to cover the basic essence of the subjects. So, first I want to give you the objective of the course. The objective of the course is to give an introduction to the different computing paradigms which is used to solve many problem which cannot be solved using traditional computing. Traditional computing actually the title of this course is soft computing. So, traditional computing is also alternative to soft computing is called the hard computing. Now, hard computing is an aspect where we can solve some problem which steps or the formal specification are well known and defined. However, there are many applications where the problem cannot be described mathematically for such problems we need some other approach. So, soft computing is the best approach to solve this kind of problem. Some problems related to computer vision, the machine intelligence, pattern recognition and then classification all this problem or optimization also which is the highly demanding one problems to solve in many applications can be solved using soft computing approach most efficiently and effectively compared to the hard computing approach. So, the objective of this course is to how solve some problems using the soft computing paradigms will be covered in this course. So, far the prerequisite is concerned this course does not require any specific prerequisites. However, it will be helpful for the student to understand the course if they have knowledge on basic mathematics at the level of 10 plus 2 standard. Other than mathematics a little bit programming can be helpful for the student it is not an essential prerequisites for the students. So, students having some scientific background concept in bit mathematics up to the 10 plus 2 standard and the programming can join this course without any difficulties. Who can attend this course? The course is mainly aimed for the students in any level of their studies including the graduate that means undergraduate level those are doing their studies in BSc or MCA or MSc in science like mathematics, physics, chemistry and other engineering subjects such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronic engineering, information technology and computer science and engineering can attend this course and it will be helpful and then complement their studies and also can give a lot of boost in their career. Now, I would like to mention what are the major topics that will be covered in this course. There are three parts in this course. So, for the soft computing paradigm is concerned those are the essential parts the fuzzy logic, fuzzy logic will be covered in details. So, for the fuzzy logic is concerned the different operations on the fuzzy sets and then fuzzy rules and then fuzzy inference engine and finally, the fuzzy logic controller will be covered here and all the topics will be covered with sufficient illustration and example. So, that students without any difficulties can understand. Next part that will be covered is solving optimization problem. So, in this topic we will cover the genetic algorithm approach to solve this one. So, basic architecture of genetic algorithm and the different operations in genetic algorithm we will cover in details. And then finally, we will cover the multi objective optimization problem which essentially gives the basic concept of evolutionary computing will be covered here. So, there are many multi objective optimization techniques have been evolved in the uh, last few years. So, those are the recent development will be covered in this course. After the fuzzy logic and genetic algorithm the third topics 
is basically artificial neural network. The artificial neural network is very much important in the present context. Artificial neural network includes the basic concept of neuron and then how the basic concept is used to solve many problem particularly the problem related to the computer vision, pattern recognition, character recognition and all these things. So, here we will consider about basic architecture of the different neural networks and then how a neural network can be trained with some training data so that they can solve some problem for unknown data. So, all these things will be covered basic concept of neural network architecture of the different architecture of neural networks and then training and finally, its application. So, all those things will be covered and then we will give an importance in a pedagogical way. So, that students without any previous knowledge they can learn the content uh, effectively and then without any difficulty in their uh, concept learning. Now, so for the benefits from the course as it is an emerging topics. So, learning this concept and applying this concept in their real life applications is the useful one benefits that they can enjoy and the other the professional engineers and those are working in industry they need to apply the soft computing approaches to solve their problem. For example, so in the prediction in the design of recommender system in the context of some problem where the deep learning machine learning all these things is required. If they have an understanding or a basic knowledge of the soft computing then they will if they will be able to apply this kind of uh, concepts to their own uh, problem solving domain. And particularly for the teachers who wants to teach this course, course to their students also will be immensely benefited and more important aspect is that this subject is new of its kind and in most curriculum in the different academic institution they have included this course. However, there is no sufficient book on this topic which cover all the three things together. So, that the people can learn all these things within a small time. So, here the students, the teacher, the professionals will be benefited who wants to learn the things within maximum 8 weeks or so. So, thank you if you join the course we will see you in the course. Thank you.